even speeding up the drive across the bridge, couldn't breathe life into a city that's become a ghost town. I think it's pretty bad. Like, I think it affects people's mental health, especially for a little one. Like, we like to get outdoors and, you know, it's just really sad for the businesses. Eat Street, Parramatta. More Bleak Street. Then add school holidays into the mix. Uh, it's pretty depressing. There's nothing to do. Kids at home, uh, stressful, nowhere to go. And no joy from the morning's COVID update. 30 new cases, all linked to the Bondi cluster. I also do want to foreshadow that given how contagious this strain of the virus is, we do anticipate that in the next few days, case numbers are likely to increase even beyond what we've seen today. Ten of the cases are linked to the seafood wholesaler Great Ocean Foods in Marrickville. Anyone who received a delivery last week needs to get tested and isolate. On the list of expanding exposure sites, Pasta Italia in Casula. The virus busters moved in, giving the cafe a deep clean. We had a patron walk in and just buy some lunch. Um, they were in here for a short time, approximately four to five minutes. And the cleaners were suiting up at the Haberfield Ambulance Station. A paramedic in full PPE had earlier treated a COVID patient. That officer then developed COVID symptoms. The scare was short-lived. He's now tested negative. At Manly, it was a latte lockdown. Hundreds getting their dose of exercise with a walk or swim. They are the lucky ones. It seems many are spending their lockdown waiting in queues to be tested. This was the line at Preston's this morning. An hour wait. In the last 24 hours, 52,000 people in Sydney have been tested. It's one of the highest numbers since the pandemic hit. If we all take this very seriously, we maintain those testing numbers, then two weeks may be sufficient. The Premier bit back at the suggestion she was slow off the mark in calling a lockdown. Did you delay the decision to call a lockdown because you wanted to keep your reputation as being the Premier who keeps open and, and looks after the economy? Our government has to the letter, to the letter, followed the health advice. And as if a lockdown wasn't bad enough, homes and businesses in the east and city will be hit by planned power outages next week. It's for critical maintenance and will affect Waverley, Randwick, Paddington, St Peter's, Darlinghurst to Newtown. And Mark's with me in the studio. Mark, that list of exposure sites just keeps growing. In the last hour, Peter, more venues. Anyone who visited them at the critical time is a close contact and must get tested and isolate. In Bondi, Bryony's Hare, Bexley North, Bexley Aquatic Centre. New South Wales Health had said that the Cross Roads Hotel in Casula was a venue of concern. They now say that's not the case. It was actually the Crossways Hotel in Strathfield South. Other venues include Fonda Mexican Restaurant in Bondi, at Rhodes, the Orange Supermarket, Mad Mex at Maroubra, and the Establishment Bar on George Street in the CBD, and an Annandale Precinct 37 Cafe. Also a rude shock for more than 50 Sydney siders who were staying in a Canberra hotel. A family was escorted from the hotel to the ACT border last night. The rest had to leave the ACT this morning after they were found to be in breach of public health directions. Peter. Mark, thank you. For breaking news, turn to Peter Overton, nightly at six.